In today's Pro Bike Check, we're going to take a look at Curtis Keen's brand new Specialized Enduro. It's a 29 inch wheel and it's a full carbon frame. Let's take a look at that brand new frame from Specialized. It's a full carbon frame set, it's got internal cable routing, and one thing that I've come across that is really neat and I think super awesome for all the mechanics is the fact that these bearings throughout the suspension linkage system are all exactly the same. Other details, you've got boost technology in there, they've gone a little bit longer on the chain stays, and you've got a slacker head angle as well. The 165 millimeters of travel is delivered by a RockShox Vivid coil and it's got a 550 pound spring on there. One thing that I have noticed around the rear suspension is this yoke right here. And this is a prototype at the moment, but it's gonna allow Curtis to run any shocks. He's actually just mounted it straight onto the eyelet. And rumor is, this is coming to the public very soon. Suspension up front is also covered by RockShox. Curtis has got 170 mil Lyric for the 29er, and that's got two tokens and 112 PSI. So pretty hard. Let's come up and look at Curtis's cockpit. So you've got a 50mm Truvative stem right there. You've got a set of S-Works handlebars. They're 760mm in width. With these ODI grips on the end of them, they come up to 780mm in total length. Curtis developed these grips with ODI. They're Elite Pro Series. And you've also got a set of Guide Ultimate levers, SRAM Ego Shifter. And over on this side, you've got your RockShox Reverb lever. Other things that I'm noticing is just how clean these cables are put together. They're all sort of almost elastic band together and it just looks super neat. And you've also got your Enduro Touch of the chain link on the brake hose right there. It's got the same tires both front and rear, 200mm disc rotors, and then he's got a set of code calipers on those Guide Ultimate levers. The drivetrain on Curtis's bike is the SRAM Eagle. And I'll just check the size of that cassette. It's a 10 tooth all the way up to a 50 tooth. You've got the Eagle mech right there, the chain as well. You've got an XO1 crank set, 170 millimeters in length, 36 tooth chain ring, and you've got a gamut chain device with a bash plate as well. He's also said that there's a bit of mastic right here and that's just to try and dampen some of the noise, make it a little bit quieter as well. It's all finished off with a set of Crank Brothers Mala E and Curtis has got his name on the pedals as well. Finishing touches on the bike are, of course, you've got that SWAT system right here. You've got your bottle cage, your tool neatly mounted onto the bottle cage as well. 170 millimeter drop reverb, and then you've got the specialized power saddle. And now it's 143 in width, and it looks a little bit different compared to some of the other saddles that you see in the bike. It's just that little bit shorter, but Curtis says it's all about comfort and it works really well for him. So we've checked out Curtis's bike, and now we have the man himself to find out some questions about that bike. Brand new frame for you this round in Whistler. Can you tell us a little bit about how you came to specialize with what's changed and what you wanted from the bike? Yeah, a while back, uh, before they started uh, figuring out what they wanted, they asked us what we would like changed. Um, for myself, I wanted to be a bit slacker, um, a smidge longer, and a bit roomier on the top tube. So after a few months, uh, this is kind of what they came up with. And overall, really happy. Bike fits me better slacker for the aggressive tracks that we're racing and um, it's a bit of a weapon. Sounds good. And then with suspension as well, you've got 165 millimeters. Did that change at all? Have you changed the sort of the curve of the pattern of the bike and how it works? The curve is pretty similar. Uh, we increased the travel in the rear to 165 from uh, 160. So a bit more travel, um, but we also went with the internal routing SWAT, carbon stays, cleaned it up, added boost. Um, just a bit of a refined uh, weapon, so it's, uh, she's ready to go. And can you tell us a little bit about your suspension setup? You've got 112 PSI in the front, which sounds like a lot of pressure in there and pretty hard. Yeah, um, I'm a bigger guy, I eat a lot of food, so uh, I uh, run two tokens, 112 PSI. Um, just speeds we have and the things that we're doing is pretty crazy now. So. Um, I like it to ramp up pretty hard at the end and not bottom, so um, when I change the travel to 170, um, I raise the front end a smidge, slacken it out as well, and with the coil in the rear, um, it's a mini downhill bike, man. Um, you know, we're not timed on the uphills, and believe it or not, it still pedals quite well with the coil in this setup, so it was uh, the perfect choice for Whistler, and I'm thinking it's going to be a similar setup for France and Italy. Sounds good. And whilst we're talking about snacks, what is the weirdest thing that you've put in that swap? 
I'd have to say the donut, to be honest. But uh, typically, um, during a race, I'll run a tube, two CO2s, tire lever, some zip ties, and um, maybe like a chain tool or something. Um, but a lot of times at home during off season, if I'm going on a big ride, I'll actually stuff uh, some extra food in there as well. So um, I keep it kind of simple, to be honest. Sounds good. Thank you for letting us check out your bike. Super nice. You want to watch some more videos from GMBN and perhaps you want to know a little bit more about how to follow the Enduro World Series, then click just down there. And if you want to see the full Pro Bike playlist, you can click just down there below Curtis as well. Click on the globe to subscribe to GMBN. And if you like Curtis's bike, then give it a thumb up like.